Oh, Jamie, what is this mess on your floor? Yeah, okay. So this is my workshop and tool area, which I totally need to organize. But right now it's more of a mess because there were termites in the top boards of my thing. They got in there like a year and a half ago or something. And, you know, I would mostly kill them every now and then. But, you know, it's pretty hard to totally wipe them out. Anyway, yesterday I was like... <sighs> Let me just get this whole top off and they were in the top boards and they were in the boards going across here and across there But they were not in this wood at all Which is amazing because they were like right up against it. There's even like termite dirt marks, but they did not get into this wood at all I don't remember the name of this wood, but it is super hard. It's also super expensive and You know, I just happened to get a couple pieces years ago anyway <clears throat> so this wood is still good so I'm gonna keep it and there's no sign of termite action in this lower part of the table so I guess I'm gonna keep that too and the table legs are um, steel pipes oh and I squirted spray foam in here because there were termites inside this one I also sprayed a bunch of soapy water which killed them Anyway, so I need to make a new tabletop. Although I'm also going to spray all the wood with a borax solution. Because if termites eat borax, it kills them. So I'm going to spray all that wood down there. So I have to get all this stuff out of here too. Which is going to make more mess all over the floor. But this, is all, this mess is all temporary. <laughs> then I can put it all back together. Um, right now, it looks like the sun is shining. Yeah, the sun is shining. That means my solar-powered lumber mill is uh, open for business. And I have some wood up there from last time I went to the jungle and cut some wood. I actually cut this wood to use on the second floor, but I had some leftover boards. And I've already planed it, which is nice. So I can just go, go up and cut it to size. Oh, there is one ugh, annoying thing I have to take care of first. So, I got these steel pipe legs, right? I don't know why this one is like this, because I don't remember when I made the table or what happened or whatever, whatever. This one's this sticking up a little, so I need to trim it. So I need to get my angle grinder and just cut the top of that off. The rest of them are all fine. I don't know. I don't know what happened with that one. One other super cool thing is this wood down here is mahogany, and the termites completely ignored it. And it's not treated or anything, it's just raw mahogany. And this up here is all mahogany. My second floor, the whole thing is mahogany. And I've also sprayed the whole underside and the top of the second floor with borax. So termites will hopefully not be interested in that at all. Not that I let termites in my house very often, but you know, sometimes they, once in a while, they'll sneak in in the middle of the night. I'll find a trail of them in the morning, and I'm like, ah! Anyway, Man, maybe this will be the uh, the start of just organizing this whole area, which would be really nice. Okay. Okay, well, that's better. And I'll clean all this stuff out later. I'm gonna go cut the wood right now since the sun is out. Who knows how long it'll stay out. All right, yesterday, after I got the boards off the table, I came up and found these pieces of wood and I rough cut them to length with a chainsaw. Ran them through the planer a bunch of times so they're all the same thickness. They are, however, not straight. <laughs> yeah, like curve. It curves that way. But uh, I think it should be fine. They're going to be 
way nicer boards than what was on there. Uh, the previous version of that table was just like scrap wood slapped together just to make something so I had a working table to build things. So, all right, shut up Jamie and let's get this wood off the lumber mill so I can actually do some cutting. I was storing it on here while I was using this machine, which is doing great by the way. Get rid of all of this gunk. You know what? Before I disconnect the wires from here and put them on the lumber mill, I think I'll plane the rest of these. Yeah, these are the cutoffs, but they're pretty decent sized boards, so. Yeah, I'll do that one too. Yeah, maybe I'll do this guy. Alright. Man, that planer was a good deal. 150 bucks. Needed a bit of repairs, but this thing is excellent. I want to get the widest board I can on this. All right, the table is 24 Imperial noodle units from front to back. And then I want to overhang, I don't know, two noodles on each end. So 28-ish. And here I've got a seven, an eight, and a nine. Seven plus eight is 15, right? Yeah, plus nine is 24. Okay, so I only need four more noodles. Alright, I only need four inches out of this guy then. Okay, that's the tabletop. Now I need uh, four pieces going across. Ah, looks great. I'm pretty sure that'll go across twice. So I should have two of those and two of those. Okay, that's all the right size pieces, I think. Now I want a termite proof. Oh, I recently cut down some bananas. Everything looks dissolved. I'll give it a few more minutes just to make sure. Poured some cold water in there. Should be cool enough to not melt in plastic. 
I want to strain out any bits, of course. prefer to not re-drill all the holes in this pipe, so put little screws in them. I think that lined up right. Okay. There's my little marks. Good. Hopefully these screws will line up with these holes now. Nice. if I should put any kind of finishing stuff on it or just let it get covered in oil which is definitely gonna happen yeah I guess I should sand my edge here a little bit okay now we can clean up this mess oh yeah 